Now, what are the things that you're supposed to find? Number one, we said what? Unbelief. Spirit of? Number two, you fight the spirit of? Delay. Let me be very fast because of our time. I give you at least a few things so that I may finish with this. Not exclusively. But number three, you need to fight what is called the contending spirit. Somebody say contending spirit. Rise up and fight the contending spirit. What does that word contending mean? To contend, it simply means to compete. To strive with the difficult. It means to struggle. It actually is evil competition. Psalm 35 verse 1. Those who came for the meeting, we did prayer on this. Psalm 35 verse number 1. Please give me. Everybody read with me. It is on your screen. 1, 2, 3. Contend, O oh Lord, eh, with those who contend with me. Fight against those who fight against me. Which is the prayer of David. I want you to remember David was a small shepherd boy. He was not like, uh, like, like Moses or even Paul who were lawyers by whatever. He was not like Luke. He was not like Matthew. He was not even like any of his brother who were trained in the army. Him, he was just a shepherd boy. Never went to any school. And by the anointing of God, he was ushered to become the next king of, of, of Israel. And when he went to, he ascended to the throne, he met a rot of war. A rot of war. And now, one of the things that he realized is that there were those who were contending with him. The word contend is actually evil competition. Are you hearing me? Somebody say evil competition. Say again. Touch, touch your neighbor, tell them evil competitors. Tell them rise up and fight against your evil competitors. What does your evil competitors do? Your evil competitors, when they see that you are succeeding, wanaaza kupanga binu za kukureta chini. Because they cannot stomach your success. Your evil competitors, if you put your shop here, they will make sure the road from this wameka kizuizi hapa, so that people from this side cannot pass this way. Wana make sure ya kwaba wametoa magarani, wametoa zire, wametoa majebe, wameuzia pare ije, so that what was pite wakija kwa duka yako. Wana make sure ya kwamba they broke your way. Why? Because they are called evil competitors. Competition in originality, it is good because it causes us to desire to be in another step. When you see another person going further, you want to go where they have gone. Amen. How many are with me? But content, contention is bad. It is evil competition. It is people who will fight you. And if you go very far and they are not able to get you, they can even plan to assassinate you. They can plan for your shop to be stolen. They can plan for your house to burn. They can do anything. Why? Because they are out against you. Are you hearing me? Anytime you have the word of the law, you need to rise up and fight those who contend against you. And that was the prayer of David. He said, oh God, may you contend with those who contend against me. May you fight those who are fighting me. They fight me for no reason. They don't want my progress. May you fight them, oh God. May you fight them, oh God. May you fight them, oh God. Hallelujah. Why? Kwa nini watu wanendaka kwa wachawi na waganga? Kwa sababu ya watu wengine, it is contention. Are you with me? Bwana sifiwe. Anaona hakuwezi. Kwa hivyo, the only way, ni yaende kwa waganga. Aende kwa wachawi. Ufutu we kazi. Watoto wako wa siendere shureni. Why? Contention. Evil contention. Huh? Your children are doing well in school. Now you have the twins. What one mepata A A? One enda kufanya medicine. Mutu anakana se makitu gani? Wani ni nini? Haiwezi enderea hivi. And that spirit in a muswababisha, they can do anything. I declare by the spirit of the living God. The Lord will contend with those who contend against you in the year 2016 in the name of the Lord. The Lord shall fight those who are out to fight you in the year 2016 in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Number four. Number four. This one I have ever spoken here. I have ever preached this message on evil conspiracies. Conspire. There is what we call Evil conspiracies. Huh? What is a conspiracy? A conspiracy is 
running something together secretly, especially something illegal or sinful. I repeat, a conspiracy is a plan where people sit together, they, cons they, con they conspire against you. They plan something illegal or something sinful. Psalm 83 verse number 3. Psalm 83 verse 3, please give me. Psalm 83 verse 3. Lead with me 1, 2, 3 on your screen. With the cunning, they conspire against your people. They brought against those you cherish. Read again 1, 2, 3. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Now, now you understand. There is something called cons evil, cunning, conspiring, conspiring, or conspi conspiration or conspiracy, which is a plot. Tell your neighbor a plot. Mwambie binu, mwambie mpango, mwambie jama, mwambie hira. Amen. Is are those the words? Yeah, that is the jama. Kukula jama. Wana keti. Wana pro. Wana panga. Wana 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 chora. Kuringana na chef. Bwana tukuzwe sana. Wana chora. Huh? Na wana paint yom choro. Wana kura kiapo. Ya kwamba come this and this we will be able to finish this guy. I'm telling you. Hii dunia inaitawa dunia. Utopada to spreader. Huku diyo mungu ametueka. Mandiko inasema, though we are in the world, we are not of the world. The weapons we fight with are not carnal, but they are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. Amen. There are people who conspire. It is called the spirit of conspiration. Anytime you have a prophetic word from God, there will be conspiration. They will sit together, they will plan, they will plot to finish you. Lift up your hands once again. Say, in the name of Jesus. And by the blood of Jesus. Every spirit of evil conspiration, evil plot, evil plan against my life, against my health, against my children, against my career, against my destiny, tonight, Break by fire in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Are you with me? And then number number five. Despair. There is you got to rise up and fight what we call the spirit of despair. What is despair? Despair is total hopelessness. It is desperation. That is what we call despair. It is complete hopelessness. It is complete desperation. What is despair? Despair, wakati ambapo tulikuwa watoto, and I know some of you are with me, we used to go and hunt. Or at times we could have dogs, and we would go get a, a dick dick, and we will run up the mountain, down the valley, across the rivers, following the dick dick. At times the dick dick would go so, so fast that uh, after chasing for about 10, 15 minutes, you are not able to fight to fight the dick dick again. So you fight the dogs. They are moving around in a, in a near bush, looking whether it is hiding there. But finally, uh, despair comes in. Uh, let's call it a day for now. That is total despair. Huh? Let me give you scripture. You realize what happens to God's people. What wa mungu wanaonaga maneno. Second Corinthians chapter 1 verse 8. Second Corinthians chapter 1 verse 8. Higher. Read with me. 1, 2, 3. We do not want you to be uninformed brothers and sisters about the hardships. Asia. We were under great pressure far beyond our ability to endure that, that we despaired even of right. Tulifika mahali 
kwa sababu ya mashagamoto na shinikisho we were under so much problem pressure from every side difficulty pressure until we came to a place we totally despaired in the province of Asia we even despaired life in another translation he say we felt the sentence of life we felt kama ni watu ambao tumeenda mahakamani and the judge amepigisha ile fimbo chini amesema sentence to die and in another one say we were so much under pressure we beyond our capacity we didn't have the capacity to handle the the, the, the pressure and the and the and the and the despair it was so heavy hmm? now let me tell you this despair is what brings depression you are finished there is nothing else that can happen. Despair is not your portion this year in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You got to rise up and fight the spirit of despair. You got to rise up and say, I know God is on my side. I am going to get that job. I am going to get that promotion. I am not going to die poor. I am not going to die a nobody. I am going to get the job. It doesn't matter. It is 15 years since I finished college. I know God is thinking good this for me. I know I am going to get married. I know my family will stand. I know I will make it. I know I will not die out of this sickness. Mimi sikufi. Mimi nitaishi. Maisha yangu itaenderea. Mambo yangu yatakuwa mazuri. You have that faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. You should not allow the spirit of despair to come over you. It doesn't matter whether you are a window. It doesn't matter whether you are a single mother. It doesn't matter whether you are not educated. It doesn't matter whether you are earning 50 shillings per day. You are not allowed to operate under the spirit of despair. You have the Lord on your side. With the God on your side, you will accomplish your greatness. Your story will be rewritten again. No despair should grip you. Because when the spirit of despair it grips you, your hands are are tied on your mind. Your mind stops to think. You no longer have any opportunity. You don't see any possibility. You feel to die and you feel to give up. It shall not happen here. I say spirit of despair is not our portion. I say spirit of despair is not our portion. We break it. We shall fight it. We shall fight it when it comes in the morning. We shall fight it when it comes in the place of work. We shall fight it in the office. We shall fight it in our marriage. We shall fight it in our health. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. No despair shall come over your life. To the glory of the name of the Lord. I declare the greatness of God is upon you. The greatness of God is your portion. Somebody say yes, yes, yes. Amen and amen. Number number six, very important. I'm about to finish. I want to talk this one uh, very important to me. And this is called the spirit of scandals. Scandal, scandal. You can call it scandal or scandal. The spelling of that word is S E A N D A L. Scandal. Is it scandal or scandal? Scandals. Scandals. A scandal. What is a scandal or a scandal? A scandal is an evil brought. It looks like a conspiracy, but this one is different because it is aimed to assassinate your character. It is aimed to assassinate your reputation. It is aimed to destroy your, 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 your reputation, your standing, your integrity. Are you with me? It is called ska? scandal, scandal. Now, let me tell you. Matthew 18, verse 7. Matthew 18, verse 7, the Bible says, Woe unto the world because of offenses. For it must that offenses come, but all unto the men by whom offenses come. Offenses cause people to stumble. That word offense, those who bring offense, is also the word scandal. 
Now, a scandal is something that is, let me explain in a better term. It is this, this is the explanation. It is something disgraceful which causes disapproval. It is a true or false talk, gossip about someone's misdeeds. In other words, somebody follows you and see that in the year uh, 1989, when you are in secondary school, you befriended a girl. And that girl did this and this and, and then you did this. Then the whole thing is the erupts and then it is used to bring you down because it's a scandal. It is something that is calculated towards bringing you down. Are you hearing me? How many are with me? Blessed be the name of the Lord. Buona sifiwe. Yeah. I don't want to get into the uh, Waigoro, the Mukomen, and the things issue because I'm not a politician. I don't care anyway. But what I'm saying is the same spirit you find in the political arena of scandals is the same strategy the devil uses against the church. What you see happening in the physical, it has its roots in the spirit spiritual so what is our prayer this season is this prayer against the spirit of evil scandals okay you break the spirit of scandal scandalizing notice before they came to this issue of the political it started with the church you hear the pastors they made a big report about pastors pastors pastor scandal 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 about the whatever kupanda begu nini nini hawa wachungaji nini nini sini mwarifanya scandal after scandal nini 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 the devil is a schemer and he works through scheming in order to discredit to make people ru lose faith to make people lose faith in you when the devil succeeds to make people lose faith in you lose faith in your business lose faith in your ministry lose faith in what you do you lose all of a sudden what you had gained for many years you lose it suddenly are you hearing me that is called the scandalous spirit is a spirit of scandals are you with me one of the things I thank God for is that within Deliverance Church, God has protected us for the last 43 years. We have never had any scandal in Deliverance Church. We have never had any scandal against our bishops, against our leaders, in Jesus' mighty name. Are you hearing me? And that is a great blessing. Are you with me? And it comes through pray, prayer. It comes through prayer. May God protect us from any satanic scandals in the year 2016 in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. May the Lord protect you from any scandal in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, somebody say amen. So in the year 2016, rise up and fight for your prophetic word against any demonic scandal. Okay? How many are with me until now? And finally, because of... I, I, don't, I, I will finish here today. God will be, I have no time to mention against the spirit of a satanic exchange, wasting deformation, and all that kind of a thing. But this is the last thing I will say. Fight! Rise up and fight for your economic well-being. Rise up and fight for your economic well-being. Somebody say economic. Lift up your hands say, my father, my father. Somebody say, my father, my father. This case is urgent. That is what our bishop says. Say again. My father, my father. My case is urgent. May you protect me. In my economic well-being. May you fight. Those who fight me. Economically. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Now listen to this. The devil know. A poor people have no voice. Is that what it says in the book of Ecclesiastes? A poor person will never be heard. In fact, a poor person is hated by members of his own family. Unapata simu, unana ah, we unaye tena me. Na unajua tu, ila takwabia tu nisumia mia moja, tijui nini nini, na anataka ya kweda kukunyo. Kwa hivyo, ah, we unaye tena. Jama sumbua. Kwa sababu gani? Mutu ambaye ni maskini ni bure. Bure kabisa. I'm telling you. Hasiki, hasikiki, hasikiwi. Hasikiwi, ha, hana sauti. Munyonge hana sauti. Na si munyonge, munyonge ya kukosa pesa. Please, let me tell you. The devil fights the church, especially 
economically because he want to finish the voice of the church and the way to do that number one is finances economically that is why you will realize many people who are in the world they look like they are prospering wanaendesha magari makubwa ma V8 wanapeleka wapi but you realize the people wale watu wanapenda Mungu wanaishi kwa maombi wengi tunangangana si kusema Mungu atupedi hapana si kusema kwamba tumefanya dhabi hapana ni kwa sababu kuna vita tunapigwa kuna vita tunape tunapigwa but I declare to you our destiny is bright in Jesus mighty name you are a rich and not poor you are above and not beneath wealth is your portion riches is your portion you will go to rise up and fight for your economic status your economic well being in the name of the Lord you will go to rise up and say I will not die poor I will not live in the economic status of my father I go to disapprove those who said in our family nobody will drive a car nobody will build a house nobody will own a anything. Nobody will become anybody. I will rise up economically. I am an economic powerhouse in my father's family. I am an economic powerhouse among my brothers and sisters. The devil shall not steal from me. The devil shall not take my money. Sicknesses will not take my money. Depression will not take my money. Fight for your economic well-being. Can I show you scriptures that will amaze you? Deuteronomy 15 verse 4. This one will amaze some of you. Lead with me one, two, three. However, there should be no poor among you. For in the land the Lord your God is giving you to possess as your inheritance, he will richly bless you. Please read it again. However, shout. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I, I, I read a number of Bible. The one says this. However, there need be no poor people among you. However, turn to your neighbor, tell them. However, however. there need not be any poor people among you. Amen. In other words, hapastahiri Pawe watu maskini miongoni mwenu. Kwa sababu gani? Kwa sababu katika nchi ambayo bwana mungu wenu anaenda kuwapa atawabariki sana. Atawabariki sana. Atawabariki sana. Atawabariki sana. Inua mukono sama baba mungu wangu. Nibariki sana katika inchi yenye unanifa kwa jina la Yesu. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. How many are with me? In other words, another one say, there shouldn't be any poor among you. Tell your neighbor, there shouldn't be Mwambie hapa stahili pawe. In other words, according to that scripture, it means this is the way things are supposed to be, but we regret that is not how things are. Umeshika hiyo? How many are with me? Bwana sifiwe. Tell your neighbor, this is the way things are supposed to be. They are ought not to be. Anybody poor among us. Tell them, but, unfortunately, that is not how things are. So what does that tell you? It tells you, kuna shida. Kuna nini? Tell your neighbor, kuna shida. Haya, tuangaria shida iko hapi. Wacha ni kuja ni waonyeshe shida. Hey, hallelujah. Verse number five, in a highlight shida mahali iko. Verse five of the same. Give me verse five, please. One, two, three. You will receive this blessing if you are careful to obey all the commands of the Lord you are God that I am giving you today. Hapo dio shida hii? Ni mumaiona? Shida ni nini? Shida ni kuto kubali kutokuwa na hiari ya kufanya nini? Ya kutii 
sheria na maagizo 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 ya Bwana Mungu wenu ninayowapa leo basi muradi patakuwa watu ambao hawako tayari ambao wanapuuza kutii sauti na maagizo na maagano ya Bwana Mungu wao basi upande huu ni kusema patabaki kuwa na watu maskini miongoni mwenu hata kama haistahili kuwa hivyo hey. haya lakini mimi si mmoja wao nimekata i am not going to be one of them i say i am not going to be one of them how many are saying i'm not going to be one of them blessed be the name of all inu am kona sema i am not one of them sema nimekata katika jina la yesu i am not one of the poor in this kingdom sema in the kingdom of god i will not be counted among the poor now notice what jesus says this is the last thing i will say john 8 12 verse 8 Lead with me one two three you will always have the poor among you sasa maneno iko hapo baada ya Mungu kupeana mwelekeo na masharti yake yenye igeodoa umaskini katikati ya watu wake na watu kupewa choice ya waamue kama wanataka wakae kwa umaskini ama watolewe kwa umaskini kupitia kutisa kufanya sauti ya Mungu Bwana wao basi Yesu anafika mahali baada ya kuangalia vizazi na vizazi conclusion inafanywa baada ya dhara investigation dhara study dhara analyzing and dhara eh, relying on the evidence on the ground the statistical analytical and uh, and uh, hypothesis hypothesis thank you jesus thank you the hypothetical an approach to matters of the kingdom hey. conclusion yesu anafika mahali anasema kulingana na udasisi wenye umefanywa kwa ufalme imedhibitika wazi ya kwamba muradi bingu na nchi zitakuwemo maskini hawatawahi kukosekana katikati yenu lakini mahali maskini wapo mimi siko i will not be there hapo penye pana korea umaskini mimi siko why am i not there kwa sababu nimenawa miko kwa sababu ya kutotii sauti ya Bwana Mungu wenu basi mimi sitakuwemo nimenyawa miko shauri yenu nimekwenda nitakaa na wale wako tayari kutii sauti ya Bwana Mungu wao na hao ndio nitafanikisha may you be prospered this year may you prosper this year i say may you prosper this year may your business prosper this year because where there is obedience to the voice of the Lord your God there is prosperity whether you like it these things are not complicated tell somebody these things are simple hallelujah tell somebody the choice is yours but tell them rise up and fight the spirit of economic failure tell somebody i am an economic giant in the kingdom of god tell somebody look at me good i am a millionaire tell somebody i'm a millionaire Tell somebody I achieve greatness in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Tell somebody this year I'm driving my car. Tell somebody this year I'm driving, I'm achieving my my promotion. Tell somebody this year my finances are multiplying. Why because tell them because I am diligent to obey the voice of the Lord my God. How many are with me Bwana sifiwe?